What I'm going to do in a few minutes is expand, inflate a 100 gram balloon to a specific volume and uh, see if the predicted lift from that amount of volume of helium is indeed what I'll get. So this is an experiment in terms of using the 100 gram balloon as a test balloon to lift payloads for student use. This is the fill nozzle for the balloon. The balloon is here. I'm not using gloves at this time. It's not critical. But there's the balloon. And uh, this will fit over the fill nozzle. More or less. Like that. And I'll firmly attach it with ties. And then make a mechanism to uh, lift. I have a tie there. Put some duct tape. Like that. Okay, everything's ready to go. Here's the lift mechanism to the uh, scale. And uh, what I'm going to do is attach one more line uh, just to make sure this doesn't take off. <laughs> Safety line. And that's this. And that'll be attached to the table. Okay, we're going to uh, turn on the valves. Let's see. good. Got about 1,100 pounds in the main tank. Okay, ready to uh, start inflating.
Well, the balloon is inflating. We're not at its maximum inflation diameter yet. Six six. One, approximately one pound of lift. That's what we're looking like. Okay, I'm going to turn off the gas at this point. And we're down to looks like 900 pounds. Okay. It would look like uh, looks like we have 1.19 pounds of lift. All right. What I'm going to do now is measure the diameter of the balloon and uh, calculate the volume. Okay, I'm going to uh, attempt to measure the circumference of this balloon. String. Of course, the idea is to go from circumference to the uh, diameter and then calculate the volume. Well, I missed that on, uh, on tape, but um, I was removing the, uh, the string from the balloon, and um, it's not a good idea to pull duct tape off a balloon because what will happen is <laughs> pow but I did get my data so I'm happy and um, we'll go ahead and do the calculations and come up with uh, uh, the actual volume that caused the amount of lift that we saw with the balloon well back back in the lab and I'm going to uh, now measure the circumference of the balloon using the string and good thing we got that just before the pop so we'll just Spread that out, and uh, here's a way to do it. We'll just count the number of feet and inches. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve feet, twelve feet, ten and a half inches. So we have a circumference of 12 feet, 10.5 inches. And now we'll take that and do a calculation. All right, we have uh, the circumference that we measured was 12 feet, 10 inch, 10.5 inches. So what we'll do is uh, we can convert all of this into uh, inches. And uh, we have then 12 feet, one foot, there's 12 inches. And that's 144 inches plus 10.5 inches. And that gives us a circumference equal to 154.5 inches. Now the circumference of a circle is equal to pi times d. So let's find the diameter of the circle equals the circumference divided by pi and we have 154.5 inches divided by 3.14 Therefore, the diameter of the sphere, the balloon that we inflated, was 49.2 inches. And we'll use that number to uh, help us uh, with the rest of our calculations. Alright, uh, as you saw, we were able to calculate the diameter of the uh, balloon and we came up with 49.2. If we go ahead and uh, determine the radius, and you'll see why in a second, 24.6. And we're going to use this program to calculate the volume. And so we now have a volume in cubic inches of 62,358.25. So I'm going to take that value and we're going to convert that further to liters. So we'll use this program once again, place our cubic inch value into the appropriate rectangle, there it is, and calculate. And then we're going to look and you've got all manner of uh, units of volume. We're going to look at this one. Uh, liters, we get 1,022 liters. So now we'll take that information and uh, we'll further determine the lift of a perfect sphere a balloon about four feet in diameter and uh, let's take a look at this handy chart here lift of balloons helium balloons specifically four foot diameter um, balloon which is close to what we had now again this is a perfect sphere that's calculated here uh, would have a volume of 948 0.96 liters. We calculated for our uh, irregular shaped spherical balloon um, 1022. It should generate a lift of 2.15 pounds. Now when we did this we actually found that not to be the case. In the process of our experimentation uh, this morning we actually came up with a lift of uh, what was it 1.2 pounds. So we had some error. Now, of course, the error is going to be the result of not having a perfectly spherical balloon, and we were not at standard temperature and pressure, which were the calculated values that we saw in the, the chart I just showed you from the computer. So the moral of the story is always bring more gas than you think you're going to need. And also, do not remove tape from an inflated balloon. Well, I hope this was helpful. See you next time.